What is up everybody? This is Cowboy from Team Fuel Gaming and I'm here to show you how to install SPAX for Attack of the B Team. Attack of the B Team is huge right now. It's in the Technic Launcher. Um, I'm going to show you how to do everything from download the unzipping file all the way to actually putting it the modded texture pack in your game. So first thing that you're going to need, we'll get started. Try to make this as quick as I can. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR yet, it is a necessity. Either you have a 32-bit operating system or a 64. All you have to do is type in WinRAR download and you just download the one that corresponds to your system. Secondly, all you have to do is go to Google again, type in Sp SPACs for Minecraft, and it's the first link. The first link will actually take you to the actual download page. You won't have to do nothing over here or up here. You scroll down, uh, Attack of the B Team. Now, when I did the 128 uh, a bit ago, because I've been playing Attack of the B Team for a while, some of the textures and stuff wasn't done in it, so I went ahead and downloaded it 64. So I know it works, I know that they're all skinned in 64, so I'm going to show you how to do it but the 128 and the 32 is supported and you could use this for them so it's 1.6.4 the very first one you'll get this ad fly page just wait up here there'll be a yellow tab skip ad should get a pop-up waiting 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 what I do is I just save it. That means it'll go directly into your downloads. Next, while that is downloading, what you want to do is go back to Google, type in Attack of the B Team, SPACs, this first one right here, 128 times 6432. Click on that. This is as straightforward as you can be right here. These three download templates, there is no versions, there is no extras. You just download the corresponding uh, Attack of the B Team mod for the resource pack that you downloaded for SPACs. So your original resource packs, which I downloaded the 64-bit, uh, you click on download for the 64 in my case. Download that. You'll get a little pop-up right here. Well, sometimes it's weird. Yeah, let me just pretend like that didn't happen. Back of the B Team Specs. And of course, I downloaded the 64. Download. You'll get a pop up, and you also want to save it. Unless you've changed your file path in any way, these should all go to your downloads. Uh, Spax Pure BD has downloaded. So we are done with the internet. Once you've had, once you have your regular Spax BD pack and your Attack of the B Team pack. Can minimize that you won't need it anymore get rid of this should be in your downloads your downloads it's right here what I do to make it easier for me is I just pick it and drag it out here to my desktop make sure that this is the right one 64 okay You'll no longer need that for right now. Now what you can do to make it even easier, double click SPACs of course, double click Attack of the B Team, and now they're side by side. So having things side by side always makes it easier. Now in your SPACs Pure BD Craft, this is your main mod pack. This will do all your Minecraft textures. Um, you click double click assets 
and that's all you'll have to do to this folder. You go over to the Attack of the B Team folder, double click Assets again, and here's all of the new stuff that it will reskin. You get every folder in here in the Assets folder in Attack of the B Team, except for these two dots right here. Just as simple as clicking and dragging. Now this is what WinRAR is doing. It is actually adding, replacing, and modifying the documents that's currently in here or in here. Now here in just a second after it's done extracting and implementing it into your base folder, you'll get this pop-up. If you did this pop-up, clearly this program is communicating with this program window. So you click OK. So it's actually putting all this inside your SPACs folder. This may take a minute as well, depending on what kind of computer you got, depending on what pack you download it. Alright, SPAC 64-bit is completely patched. Uh, what you do, what I would do is I would go ahead and make like a blank folder somewhere and put Attack of the B Team in. If something crashes, this folder hasn't been touched, you can just drag it back out of here. Completely not necessary. You don't need this anymore. Um, let's see here. That actually went to my extension monitor. But anyway, what you're left with is this right here. Spax Pure BD Craft. And the way to tell that this actually has gotten patched, you don't have to do this, but you can double click on assets in it. And if it has all this stuff besides Minecraft, it's clearly been patched. So there's a bunch of different ways in putting this texture pack actually in the game. A lot of people will do the search on Windows 8 percent app data and then another percent symbol. This will take you to a roaming folder. Attack of the B Team, of course, is in Technic. Mod Packs. Attack of the B Team. Resource Packs. And that is where you'll drag and install it. As you can see, that is my current working 64-bit. It is there. Now, if that's too hard for you, and you want to do it another easy way that I never see anybody do, you click on this little cog wheel right here. And it will bring up this window. Open folder. Resource packs. And you can drag and paste this in here. This is another way to do it. And once you start up your game, it will be usually in base resolution Minecraft. Um, I will show you how to do it here. Move this back to my desktop folder in case I need it. That will be my backup preset. Uh, the... A lot of textures that's in the 32 is not in the 64, and the ones that's not in 64 and 128 last time I downloaded the 128. So that's the only reason why I'm using the 64 right now. Is It is the most complete. It works good. You know, nothing bad happens. Oh, for some reason it popped up over here. It says not responding. I don't know why. Do, 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 do. Let's just close that. Sometimes that happens. It's probably because I clicked and dragged it over. Anyway, let's do that. Sorry about this. I'll let it load on my other monitor over here before I drag it over because for some reason Minecraft Windows do not like you to minimize, maximize, or click and drag until the initial startup is done downloading. And like I said, whenever you pull this up, it should be in the default Minecraft texture package. Mine's done been installed. Of course, mine looks like SPACs.
but I will show you what you need to see in the resource pack folder as soon as it is done booting up. Do, 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 do. All right, now you go to options, resource packs, and this is exactly what you should see right here. Spax Pure BD Craft, version 1.6.2. If you don't see the graphic, and if you don't see all of this, you did something wrong. What I would do first, if you, if you run into an error, the first thing that I would do is open your resource pack folder. Go ahead, left click, right click, and actually delete the SPACs folder, which I can't delete it right now because that's what I'm in. If you've clicked on it and it's did something funky, it keeps on crashing your game, you may have to click back on default and then right click it and delete it and pretty much just do it all over again. Trash the files, get back on Google, download all the files again and repatch them. Sometimes things don't communicate well. I would try that once or twice and if that doesn't work, Leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. But anyway, everything is patched for, I guess, um, yes, that did say boobs. That did say boobs. I'll show you how everything is patched. Elgato might not like that I just maximize that window on an extension screen. All right, and here we go. As you can see, you got all your base uh, texture packs. But this is Attack of the B Team, so it's crazy ridiculous. Biomes are plenty. Um, here's some ore and some gravel. Let's see. Thermal expansion, all that good stuff has been reskinned. So you make sure the cool things have been reskinned. Your tools, you see, look how cool all that looks. You got the uh, hammers, info miner. Oh, that's a book. Info miner. So anyway, you just go back to your blocks, make sure everything is reskinned, and if, you know, like I said, if it doesn't work, always try to reinstall it first. But it looks like everything's been patched, the game's running real smooth, so I appreciate everybody for watching. If you need any more help, just leave a comment, I'll try to get back to you. Thank you guys.